that we have modified the columns and saved the reports, let's create some automated email reports. An automated report can be created for saved report views. This is a sample of an accrued balance as a report. Several clients have found it to be useful, especially when automated. Another example of when to use automated reports could be when you only post payroll to the GL once a month or a listing of employees without a direct deposit amount. The first thing you should do is set your report in the way you want to see it. Then save the view. Click on the action menu icon, the three ellipses on the right, and select manage email schedules. In this window, click, click the add schedule link. If other schedules have already been set up for this report, you would see them here and could edit instead of add. To add a new schedule, just click the Add Schedule link. Follow the steps to schedule the report. There are two types of schedules. The first type is a weekday schedule. This type can be used for reports that a manager or supervisor needs to see on a regular basis. Like a missed punch report, scheduled to run each morning at 9 a.m. for all supervisors. Or it can be a weekly exception report for points tracking. The second type is a day schedule, which can be used for the accrual balance report. This profile lets you send on a specific day, like always on the first of the month, for example, once the timing is established, then you can decide who will receive the reports. In the early stages, I like to add myself so I can receive a copy of the report. Once the report has been sent successfully and I am confident the report will continue to send, then I can remove my email. Next, I can select a scissor tail account to receive the report, or we can select a specific group like HR admin, or just fill in an email like the company CPA, or you can just use all the options. Finally, we have a choice to allow the recipients to review the report in their email using my permission. The report is mailed showing the details from my point of view, just in case the employee needs to see a report. Otherwise, I would have to run the report for them. This takes the report off my plate and the end user gets all the information I usually provide to them without having to expand their security settings in Scissor. Now, time to create the email. Choose the, choose the format for the report. My favorite is Excel. Usually, I select display header footer. This is helpful to remind them what the report is for or about. The front email address is always no reply at chronos.com. The message title is your email subject line every time the report is sent. The message body doesn't have to be too detailed. What really matters is the report. Finally, the number <coughs> of the rows in a report are key. Minimum rows determines if the email should even be sent. Think about a report that goes to payroll for all new direct deposits. If there are none, the report doesn't need to be sent. So the minimum is usually set at one. For the maximum rows, I always use the suggested maximum of 3,500. 